What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, welcome. Subscribe. Like the video. It's free. Welcome to another video for you guys. But first, I just want to say happy holidays. If you don't celebrate Christmas, happy new year then. And I hope you have a great time and many awesome things to come for 2020. But let's get right to the video. So, in recent news, recent stories, and the superstar themselves have said on social media, hinting at a big return at WrestleMania 36. Now, this specific superstar wants to do something special and magical at WrestleMania 36 because it's in Tampa Bay and that's where they reside now. That's where they live now. And this could be their last WrestleMania. And as much as the fans want to boo him all they want, they can't deny that he carried the company for a long time. And he has given us great moments to remember. I used to be a fan, now I'm just like, whatever. But this superstar, who could be appearing at his last WrestleMania as an actual star, if that makes any sense, under a WWE contract. He's still going to be associated with WWE after that. Whenever he does retire. But you know it's going to be. He's going to be like the legend. Going on to do their own thing. And making appearances every now and then. However. To actually wrestle. At WrestleMania. John Cena. Has stated. He wants to have. A last WrestleMania moment. One more WrestleMania magic. Run. Could this be he wins his 17th world title? Who knows? As much as I don't want to see that happen, because I want someone else to rather break the Ric Flair's record or not break it at all, it would be historic if he were to get 17 world titles. But however, it would be sad to see that this is his last WrestleMania. The guy is in his 40s, not getting any younger. That doesn't really matter about the age, but he got other things he wants to pursue. He's going to be in a lot of big movies in the next couple of years. Suicide Squad reboot, the Fast and Furious 9. So he's got a busy schedule ahead of him. Plus, he's, you know, he has his own private life to do and shit. So I can see why he probably wants one last big run in WWE at WrestleMania 36 in his new hometown. So I could see this as a way for John Cena to retire on great terms, on his terms, to get a big win at WrestleMania, become 17-time world champion, who knows what can happen. We still got a couple months away from WrestleMania. Let's just focus on Royal Rumble. It'd be cool. Not very cool. I prefer if someone else won the, won the Rumble, but if he came back and won the Rumble, three-time Rumble winner, and he ends up winning at WrestleMania, that would be a great way to end his career right there, you know, to end on a, end of the champion, just like Edge did in 2011 when he got the title from Alberto Del Rio. And then he retired as the champion at WrestleMania 27 when he beat Alberto Del Rio. And he officially retired the next night on Raw. So I can see John Cena doing something like that. And honestly, you know, the guy should, you know, like he... He may love WWE. Some people, some fans would still love to hear his music and see him come out and cut a great promo, entertain us. But it's time for him, you know, to focus on the shit that he's doing now, like he wants to do. And I, you know what? We need some. We need a, some big returns happening this year. Twenty twenty is gonna be a big year. I feel like it might be. So what better way to kick off twenty twenty? Then to have John Cena win the Rumble and to go on to WrestleMania? Who knows? We'll just have to wait and see. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking. Subscribe if you're new. Share this video. Thank you so much for those that have been supporting. When I get to 100 subs, I'm going to do a special shout out video for those who I have seen support and been on my channel constantly. And. I just want to say thank you again.
Take care, cause the bottom line, cause Thorncourt said so, can you dig that sucker? Can you dig it?